Hello, welcome to the 14th annual LD Micro main event. I'm here at the Lux Hotel in Beverly Hills with Fraser Atkinson of Green Power Motor Company. Fraser, can you tell us a little bit more about the company? The ticker symbol is GP. Uh, thank you, and it's great to be here. Uh, Green Power Motor Company, we have a suite of medium, heavy duty, all electric vehicles. Uh, they're our design, it's our build. And we have a range of products that cover uh, schools, transit, shuttle, and a variety of other specialty areas. Excellent. And then I know there's been a big push, uh, especially with this new administration and uh, creating more uh, sustainable forms of transportation. Um, have you received any incentive from um, that sort of uh, dynamic? Well, not only in, under the current administration, but a uh, number Every, every month, it seems another state comes on board with uh, you know, additional programs and incentives. But what's really helping us is the mandates where, you know, for example, in California here, we've got uh, 13 airports that have been mandated to go to zero emission buses on their properties before 2030, which means that they need to start buying their product now. Wow. And we're not talking about just the buses that go to employee or, or passenger parking, but any bus operating on the property has to be zero emission. Wow. And where are you doing the manufacturing from? We do our final assembly is in the San Joaquin Valley between Bakersfield and uh, Fresno. And then our, uh, our operations and our you know, engineering sales marketing is all based in Rancho Cucamongo, just outside of L.A. here. And how long have you been with the company? What's the, sort of the role there? I'm uh, I'm one of the founders, so I've been at this for over ten years, wow. which in the EV space is an eternity. There's <laughs> not many companies that have been around longer, so uh, we've we've seen a lot of change in terms of you know the early days. There was very little understanding of the products that we were selling, and and frankly, very little support for electrification, where now it's the complete opposite. Mm -hmm. There are tons of support to uh, right across the board in terms of getting companies to electrify their fleets. And there obviously is a lot of companies in the space now coming out in this electric vehicle uh, area. What are some of the things that set you apart from the competition? Well, our focus has been on a class four, and without getting too technical, it's, it's above sort of the the regular van you might see that is more of a, you know, a consumer oriented vehicle, which is in the light duty classification. And we're below the, you know, where Tesla's operating at the class eight with their truck, uh, the class four space, we have both passenger and cargo delivery and logistics. Uh, we're the only purpose built. And we also on the passenger side completed uh, what is known as the Altoona test which is a durability test required by transit properties uh, for the buses that they buy. And we scored the second highest score ever. Wow. So we were, you know, that's competing against gasoline, diesel, CNG vehicles. And we, you know, other than one other vehicle beat all the rest that's that have ever been great. tested. Wow. What have been some of the obstacles in, in creating the momentum for the company? Well, in the early days, it was uh, uh, the, physical cost of the building the product. Batteries are super expensive, they're very heavy. Uh, they weren't particularly re reliable. So you could put together a vehicle that could take two or three people down to the grocery store and back. You know, it, was, it, was, it, it really wasn't uh, a, a viable or economic uh, solution. Whereas fast forward to today, you know, people don't have the range anxiety that they used to have. The product can deliver you know, to the duty cycle that's required. So it's a, a real sea change in you know, a matter of literally a few years. Wow. And then what do you think investors should be aware about uh, as far as short-term goals over the next five years? Well, five years is eternity in our space. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> I, think, I think one of the things that we talk about is we've been delivering product. Like we're delivering, you know, delivering school buses, we're delivering shuttle transit buses, and we've been doing so for quite a few years. And a number of the other uh, more recent entrants, in some cases, are still prototyping. So we're, I think we are clearly at a different phase in terms of the development, and now we're ramping up production, having recently listed on NASDAQ and using that funds to you know, really increase our production of products. Absolutely. Is there anything else you'd like investors to know about the company? Uh, 
just stay tuned, sign up for our press releases and our distribution. And uh, we've got a lot of exciting news to come. And where can they find more information if they're interested? Greenpowermotor.com. Greenpowermotor.com. Fraser, thank you so much for coming by. I hope you enjoy the rest of the event. Everybody keep an eye out for Green Power Motors. Thank you.